everybody welcome back um i just put on some blush and i decided to record the intro for this one so today we are going to do a cushion review and wet test of the new three concept eyes cushion foundation this one is the glow version um i have already done the matte one over here if you guys are interested then click there um so this is the finished look i did apply some blush but i think the blush is still a little bit too wide so let me just quickly apply it very very quickly yeah so this is actually the finished look okay how it looks like um please pardon the color because this is already the darkest color of the two that they have it's a little bit still too light for me as you guys can see i'm a little bit like more yellowy and more olive but this one is like really really white but nonetheless i want to record for you guys how it looks how it performs if it's kind of like for any interested party out there so yeah so if you guys are interested then carry on watching okay so just talk about this cushion foundation um this is the 3ce glow cushion the color i've got is 002 soft nude so the glow cushion has spf 50 plus and pa triple plus so the matte one is spf 45 and then i think there's only pa double plus so um, i'm not sure why the spf is different but you know they are different and i want to tell you guys and then this is 15 grams and this time round for 3 ce when you buy their cushion it comes in a very big box the reason being that other than the cushion they have an extra refill for you guys inside here and there's one inside this case so you're getting two for the price so that's why i think um that's like the reason why it's like slightly more expensive um and usually for 3ce they rarely do twin packs like not really twin packs they rarely do um cushion with a like with a refill inside um but i think well maybe they wanted to do something different this time around um initially i wasn't interested in getting the cushion foundations but when i saw the packaging i was very very interested to get it firstly it's a very beautiful nude and if you look carefully right it's like a acrylic case with the actual nude underneath so it looks very very nice although they're all the same color it just looks very slick and chic so that is what really interests me and the one that interests me the most is actually the matte one so if you guys are interested, just click over there and then go over and take a look. Um, but the glossy one is also really nice. So it corresponds with the finish of the foundation. So if you buy the glow one, the outer packaging is, like I said, glowy. And then the case is also dewy. Then um, if you buy the matte one, it is matte. And then the case is also matte, right? So um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, then carry on watching. Right, so this is the cushion it's very very pretty let's just take out the seal i makeup on because i did the roman one before this and then i wanted to remove and then go for an exercise but then it was raining outside so i decided to just do another one which is another five hours so now it's about like 9 30 like 9 15 thereabout so i'll put this on quickly and then um, I'll check back with you guys so we can do like a five hour test. So this is the cushion itself and you open up. Okay, I think I mentioned before, but I'm not sure if you guys don't know, but usually cushions have this like push button where you pushed it open and then the things open up like this, right? But the three concept eyes, new one, they don't have. It's just like, a opening where you just like pluck it open so that's something for you guys to note right okay anyway this is the cushion i really like how it looks like this like this portion here it's very different so that's that is nice this is how the cushion looks like if you guys want to know and then the puff feels really pretty good actually yeah so it's also that teardrop shaped and then without further ado let's just get started i don't have anything underneath i only have um actually i don't have anything i just removed the previous one with um bioderma then because this one it's like the glow cushion so we shall see how moisturizing it is um and see if it's oily and how it performs on my oily skin 
Okay, it's the same powdery, like baby powder kind of scent. And then the previous video that I did, like uh, two days ago, it's for like the um, fit cushion. That one, it was also very light. Um, and I wasn't impressed with the color range because this is supposed to be soft nude, but it doesn't look nude yet at all. It looks pretty stuck white. And actually the coverage is pretty good, you guys can see, right? So please don't mind the shade range because, you know, there is not a lot of foundation colors to choose from if you are into Korean products. I mean, now a lot of brands are coming out with products with more color variants, okay? But um, I think for Stone Under, they are still, you know, focusing it on people with fair skin. And then even though it is said to be dewy, it isn't like those super, super dewy type of concealer, um, cushion. It's not like the kind of very, very dewy one. Um, I can see a bit of shine a little bit um, in real life through the camera because of the lighting. You guys can probably tell that it's quite like dewy, but um, this glow is something that um, I can accept and it's not like super super like you know glowy that kind whereby it's like almost to the point to be oily so right now one layer I think the coverage is about 60 to about 70 I can still see some portion of it yeah I think it's about a 70 so I'm gonna go in and kind of layer one more time I'm not gonna go three times because the previous one I did for microfeed three times is just no so I'm gonna do two layers just around this area I think after two layers it's about 80 to 85 percent covered if you guys want to fully cover acne scarrings and whatnot you guys have to go in with a concealer the cushion foundation looks like on my skin before powdering and then I'm going to powder my face with the same powder that I powder the matte version of this cushion as well as my previous two um, Roman cushion review as well. Right, so this is the finished look of the cushion with powder on. It's looking pretty nice. Except that it's a little bit too fair for me. Oh, uh, and uh, if you think that you know this cushion foundation might oxidize to fit you, no, I tried the matte one; it doesn't. So we shall see how for the glow version, and we shall see. Um, so now it's like nine thirty one. Okay, so um, I will check back at two thirty, on the exact five hour mark to show you guys at like a check in. Hello, everybody. Right now is two thirty. Um about 2.40 so it's been five hours since I put on this um, foundation and I'm trying my very best to keep myself awake because it's 2 30 a.m. and I'm really really sleepy because I woke up early this morning but I really wanted to keep this makeup here for you guys and so this is how it looks like um as far as this cushion is concerned right um, although it's like a dewy cushion foundation um it didn't look super dewy at the end of the day. I mean, this portion, I'm always oily, but right over here is actually pretty good. But under close inspection, there's a few little things that I wish you guys um, to take note. Is that this portion here, a bit of creasing. And then you can see a little bit that where my glasses were at, um, the foundation kind of lift off. My nose completely, like this portion here, lift off. And then if you have like dry patches, you kind of catches onto them and then but this portion the crevices of my nose is okay and then this place where i have a lot of acne scarring um a lot of the foundation is settling into the pores so it's creating like a slight sesame kind of appearance which is a no-go but overall this portion here it has kind of melted with my oil so it looks a bit like dewy um, and it doesn't look funky that's a good thing however this portion here i'm not sure if you guys can see but it's kind of fading in patches so that is not very nice so um 
the thing that is consistent between this glow cushion and the matte one is that upon layering like the third or the second layer and then you powder on top it kind of just settle into those pores and patches that you have so it kind of doesn't stick together and lay it very well so um, I do not recommend layering it yeah so this is just what um, I think it's good to let you guys know because of how inconsistent like the whole thing is and how it performed um, I don't think I recommend to anybody I think you guys can choose any other cushion foundation um, out in the market even the Etude House one is working better than this one and it's also like only a fraction of the price so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon bye